Hello people, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my top 10 tips on how to not fail, but how to achieve your New Year's resolutions. So listen up. The first, and in my opinion, the most important thing is choose a realistic goal. Something that you can actually achieve. Because lots of people do this mistake that they see something somewhere, they want to become like someone else, and because the goal is not realistic, they fail. And that's where the pain comes in. So, choose a realistic goal. If you're after a physical change, what really, really helps is if you choose, uh, let's say, a body type that you're interest, interested in achieving, and you find someone that you like the shape, you know, what they look like, and you put that picture on your fridge, on a cookie cabinet, and in a couple of places. So you constantly will be reinforcing in your mind what it is that you're after. Remind yourself every day why you want to make this change. In order to succeed, you must be in a mindset which says, I have to make it, not I should make it. If it should, then you will never get there because this is not strong enough reason. If it's I have to, then you can see it's a different driving force forward. So choose your words and a setup right. If you every day do just one thing, in one year, you're gonna be 365 steps closer to your goal. Whatever you choose to do, whichever goals you are after, share them with your friends. But only with the really best friends who you know that they will not be like a policeman standing behind you saying, did you do that, did you do that, come on, come on. But someone who will have enough emotional intelligence to say, so how is it going with your goals? By sharing your goals with your friends, you have yourself to, to, to sort of learn how to motivate yourself, but you also have other people trying to help you to get there. And if you're not moving forward, they will ask you and it will get you into a point of okay well you know i need to do that i promised myself and my friends that i'm gonna do this so this is another little tip when it comes to feedback sometimes other people are so busy that they might not give you the feedback that you need they might not say oh well done you've done such a great job now that's why people hire other people to do that for them. But if you waiting for a positive feedback from your uh, partner, uh, from your parents or whoever friends, they might just have too much on to actually be able to give you positive feedback and, and sort of appreciation on a daily basis. So therefore you need to learn how to say to yourself, today was a great day, I've done really, really well. Now this is not an, about an ego, but it's about, we all need that sometimes to say, hey, I've done well, but you can do this for yourself. And by doing so, you might be able to even cut out some hardships with your friends or parents who doesn't appreciate you. So if you do this, things will get much, much easier. There will be obstacles, but if you have strong enough reasons behind what you're doing, the strong enough whys, even though you might get a cold, you sort of have to stay in the bed, but in the meantime, you're thinking about, okay, well, this is a break that I probably need, and once I get out of the bed, I'm gonna keep moving forward. Instead of, oh, I'm ill, everything is bad, oh, well, you know, it doesn't really matter anymore, I'm just gonna start eating this and that, and it's just like, oh, and everything just, falls apart. So you need to keep that focus even through difficulties, obstacles, hard times that you might be facing because no path is perfect and there will always be things that will be there to test you. As you start moving forward, first two weeks usually will be the hardest. However, after you cross that barrier, things get much, much, much easier and you will start enjoying it. So when it's, for instance, you decide that you're gonna hit the gym this year, you wanna lose this weight, you wanna get into great shape, first two weeks will be pain. And again, you have to have the driving force forward, strong enough reasons behind. If I do this, I'm gonna feel great. My body will look exactly how I want it to look. My friends will appreciate me more, if that's your mindset. I will be living the life that I want to be living. I'm gonna be much happier. 
These are just from the top of my head things that can help you to give you the right enough reasons behind. Versus if you go, well, if I don't do this, I'm not gonna be healthy. I'm not gonna be appreciating myself. I'm not gonna be happy within my own body. And therefore I'm be gonna be creating a lifestyle that I'm not after. So this is, again, you need, to, you need to remind yourself every time you go for that cookie jar and you just reaching for it, you remind yourself, oh, hold on, I've got a picture of what I wanna look like here, just right here. I'm not doing, I'm jeopardizing my, uh, my goal right now. And if I do eat that one cookie, I am gonna move back, not forward. So to all of you, all the best in 2018. Strong health, focus, joy, happiness, anything that you wish for. And just remember that your life is your own creation. Anything that is basically within you will create what is outside. So focus on that, get clear about what you want, go and do it, because I know you can. And I'll see you next time.